Hello Terraria Enthusiasts, my name is James and welcome back to my let's play of the Terraria Lunatic mod. So in today's episode we've got to work our way through the two remaining mechanical bosses and we have to do it on a little bit of a short deadline and that's because in yesterday's episode I wasted so much time just trying to get this bow that I actually feared the series might come to an end before we win because I'd wasted so much. Now, let me show you something. This is perfect. Here is my old man painting. Here's my cloth of ear. What makes it even better? He's called James. Amazing, right? We got a James the cloth of ear. Hallelujah. So having a little look at the countdown, we have nine days remaining. It really isn't long. So we're off down to the Hallowed now because I need to get myself some souls of light. I was just down there. I died. Uh, so I need to go down there and pick them up because I need to make a Skeletron Prime Spawner. But after that, I actually have everything I need. I think I've got lots of uh, arrows. I've got one set of potions. I'm hoping one set will get me through two fights. But today has been a, a pretty interesting day. I'm swapping things up today, right? No reading of The Hobbit, no book review. Today is going to be a movie review because that's what I wasted my time doing today instead of reading. I actually watched a, uh, a pretty good movie and I'm going to recommend it to you lot in a second. And I also had to... I had, I had a bit of a strange day going out today. And maybe I'll tell that one first, right? So today, I was uh, I was out and I had to go and, uh, and pick something up. And... Like, so what I was doing was, I was I was basically picking something up, right? That's the premise. And I was stood on one side of the road, and I was inside of this, like, building, picking something up. And I was, like, looking across, and I was like, hmm, that looks a little strange, right? And so what was going on was, there was kind of, a, like, a, an oldish guy. He was fairly old, bless him. And, uh, and he was quite large, and it was raining. And he was stood in the rain, doing nothing, completely still. And I look over, and I think... That's that's a little bit strange. Something's going on. I'll give it another second, you know, just in case, right? Just in case. He's just waiting for somebody, whatever else. And uh, and a little bit more time goes on, you know, like a minute. And I go, right, no. Like, there's clearly something's wrong. So I go over and I'm like, hey, are you all right? You know, is everything okay? And he goes, he's like, well, not really. He was like, I've lost my phone. Um, I can't ring a taxi. He had, uh, like, these swollen legs. I'm guessing just from a medical issue. Like I say, he was quite old. And, uh, and I was like, well, don't even worry about it. I was like, come inside, because we were near this uh, doctor's office. I just sit him down, and I'm like, mate, let me get you a taxi. Let me get you home. And he was great. <laughs> he was such a nice guy. He was like, I w I'm a retired accountant. He was like, let me do your uh, accountancy. Let me do your books. I'm self-employed, so I have to do my own books, right? And I was like, nah, man, we're cool, we're cool. Like, <laughs> he was just such a lovely guy. And I asked him, I said, why, why were you stood there? And he was like, I needed to borrow someone's phone, but I didn't dare ask anybody. I just thought, that is that is precious, bless him. So uh, I got him home, he was great, you know, he, he was fine. Like, he was a, he was of sound mind, he had his own money and everything, don't get me wrong, you know, I didn't, I didn't, get him a, I didn't buy him a taxi, but, you know, I made sure he got home safe and that, so that was that was kind of cool. Um, and he was just such a lovely guy. <laughs> but that was, that was my day, and that really made me happy because it reminded me of something that happened to me once. So he said to me, as I was uh, getting in this taxi, he said, my faith in humanity has been restored. And he's basically saying that because I helped him get home, right? And I remember, so when I moved to this city, me and my partner, we knew no one, right? I didn't drive. I lived in the middle of a city center. And the first shop came around, right? Which is essentially when I had to do my first big shop to so get all my food and stuff. And I didn't even know where the shops were. And they were non-local. So I find this shop. It's about a half an hour walk. And I'm like, cool, right? We'll go there. We'll go get all our shopping. And, uh, and we'll get a taxi back. Because... At every other point in, in my time being there, if I needed a taxi, a taxi would just come, right? Because it's a large city. You know, like, kind of like Uber in London. If you need an Uber, you're getting an Uber. It's just going to come, right? I don't know if it is now. Is Uber still running in London or is it still banned? Anyway, regardless. <laughs> regardless. I went and did this big shop and I had a lot of bags to carry. It was a hell of a lot. And I didn't realize while I was in the shop that it actually started raining. And because of this rain, I had no idea that in this city, um, if it rains, you can't get a taxi. Like, I rang up and I was like, hey, can I have a taxi? And they were like, yeah, in three hours. And I was like, oh, no, because I had so much shopping. It was all going to melt and stuff, you know. And I was like, uh, I don't know what to do. So I start walking and it was in like the 
thickest rain I've probably ever experienced. It was really, really bad. And uh, and this woman stops and she goes, are you walking in the rain with all that shopping? I'm like, yeah. And she was like, well, look, I'm a teacher. She was like, she flashes a badge. She's like, I'm a teacher. Let me give you a lift home because, you know, everybody needs a little bit of help every now and again. And I was like, all right. And I, I did it. And I just thought, <laughs> instinctively, probably shouldn't do that, right? Don't get me wrong. But I did. And it was the sweetest woman. She was the nicest person going. Oh, I died in the middle of that. That would have been so much better if I could have told my full story and not died. <laughs> oh, no. God, you've doomed me, woman. But anyway, my faith was restored because this lovely woman gave me a lift home. She saw me struggling in the rain and she was like, I'm going to stop him. Most women would not stop a fully grown man and offer them a lift, right? Because, you know, you know, you know what I mean. Like, they probably think you're going to um, abduct them. You know, make them watch Terraria videos for the rest of their life. You get what I mean? Um, but yeah, that restored my faith in humanity. And I've always remembered that. It was years and years ago now. But it, oh, it was it was so nice of her to do. God, I can't believe we lost that. That sucks. <laughs> that actually is really bad. Oh, that's kind of ruined the, the schedule and the... Oh, God. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> it was worth it for the story. It was worth it for the story. It probably wouldn't. Right, I'm just using this to reset my flight now. I've actually run out of potions now, so this next fight has to be uh, spot on perfect. No pressure. We came so close then. If I'd have just paid a little bit more attention, we would have won that. Okay, fight number two. We're going to be fine. <laughs> but yeah, anyway. So that, that really restored my faith in humanity. Now, on to movie review. So I watched a movie called Unbreakable. Has anybody ever heard of it? So it's by the director, M. Night Shyamalan. And I'll tell you why I started to watch it. It's because a few years ago, I can't remember when it came out, but me and my partner watched um, Split, the movie Split. Don't know if you guys have ever seen it, but it's a, uh, it's a thriller about a kidnapper who has multiple personalities. And it's really good. It's a very, very good movie. But it has an ending where it's kind of confusing. And I thought, hmm, why did they do that ending? And it's actually because they wanted to link it in with the film Unbreakable, which actually came out um, back in 2000, I think. So I was very young when it came out. You know, I, was, I, was, I think I was like three when it came out. But I watched it today because I wanted to see the uh, the connection. And oh my god, it's such a good movie. It's The premise is that essentially this guy survives a train crash. And he comes out and he's the only survivor. But not only does he only survive, he also manages to escape with no injuries. And it, and it brings to question like, hmm, have you ever been ill? Has this kind of thing ever happened before? And that's kind of what the story's about. I would say if you were to market this film, you should market it as what if Superman lived on Earth and didn't know he was Superman? That's kind of what it's about. And it's a fantastic film. I really recommend it. Give it a watch if you haven't already. It holds up today. I mean, that might have put some people off by saying it's like 19 years old. It's very, very good. And they made a sequel. It's called Glass. It comes out uh, like this week. I'm going to go see it, I think. Because I really enjoyed Split and I think I'll really enjoy this. But yeah. Here we go, that's movie review done as well. So look at that. Got loads of stuff to talk about today. <laughs> so I said at the end of yesterday's episode that I would release the footage of my broken washing machine when we hit 500,000, uh, not 500,000, oh my god, 150,000 subscribers. I'm going to play you a little clip of it in a minute. Not the full clip, I'm going to play some audio from it just to tease you guys so you know what it's all about. I think you're going to enjoy it. But when we hit it, I'll, uh, I'll upload it. <laughs> Just for the lols. Okay. This fight's going strong. Running out of time. I've got two minutes and a half. So I really, really, really need to hurry this up. So I need him to kind of like stop going up. And start taking a lot more of these arrows to the head. The good thing is we've kind of destroyed a lot of his, uh, his arms now. Okay. I think I've just heard all of them break at that point. So is it just the head? Oh no. It's still... It's still wait. I thought they were gone. I thought I could hear them explode, but it was just the bombs. Hmm. Curious. Okay, come on. I either don't want to run out of arrows or run out of anything, really. But I'm really scared of running out of arrows during this fight. I don't get, though. This is a real thing. Right? Why is Skeletron so much... Skeletron Prime 
so much easier than Skeletron Expert Mode. Like, Expert Mode Skeletron is really tough. You have to really, like, learn how to maneuver him. But Skeletron Prime is like... It's just, it's just an easy fight. Like, I don't, I don't get why they did that. The only problem is I've got a minute and a half and he hasn't, he hasn't taken enough damage. He needs to, he needs to really, like, take some more damage at this point. Come on. Okay, now it's just his head. Let's focus on that. Oh, no, he's still got the, the cannon arm. That's fine. Okay, got a minute remaining. I think we can do this now. I actually do. Come on, fallen stars, fallen stars. Wait, uh, it's doing it. It's going down pretty quick. Needs to be a little bit quicker. Let's get some I-Core in there. Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> this is suspenseful because I really need this to hurry up. Because otherwise I'm going to have to wait another day. There we go. Right, perfect. So that just means we've got the twins to do uh, tomorrow night. Okay, cool. All right. So opening this up, we get some Souls of Fright. We also get some Hallowed Bars and a mechanical battery piece. So that's really great. Um, all I need to do now is to make another summoning device. So I think for today, what we'll do is I will go off now and I will go and explore the jungle because the jungle is going to have uh, some life fruit now. It's going to have life fruit and it's also going to get plantera bulb. So I think what I'm going to try and do is mine out an area or at least like attempt to start mining out an area and I think that's what I should work on um, while we wait for the next night so let's move over some of this stuff I don't actually know how many pieces do you need to make the full set all right you know what I'm gonna make the full set <laughs> because why not I mean I almost lost that twins fight this is probably a good idea so one piece two piece and the headset three pieces hell yeah so that's 51 defense. That's 52. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. I don't know. It's, it's fine. <laughs> I never know with some of these like little upgrades. I'm like, are they worth it? Are they not? I don't actually know. So to do this uh, this refight of the twins, I was I was thinking about it, right? So if I would have won that fight with the twins, it would have taken me a little bit longer, right? Do you get me? Like, to, to finish the fight off. And I only won the Skeletron Prime fight by, like, a small amount of time. So I wonder if, if I'd have even beaten it in the same night, both of them. So that was kind of interesting. This time, though, I've really got to make sure I don't lose because I hate, like, um... Do you know when you're, like, kind of messing around you lose a fight? You're like, whatever. You know, I'll just make a new one. But then you do it again you're like... Well, the first time I was kidding, <laughs> like, the first time I didn't mean to. Do you get what I mean by that? Uh, right, okay, so there's a soul of light. I will grab that, and I will grab that, and I will grab that, and I will get out there and heal up. And we're back to, uh, to farming away. Not bad. We only need, uh, one more soul of light, so it shouldn't actually take long. I, uh, I wish I had a farm that would you know, maybe, like, suggest that the fact of getting a rod of discord, because my current farm is like, yeah, you've got no chance, <laughs> like, there is no chance you will get a rod of discord, because it's gonna, does it burn away? Is that, is that what happens? Are there any souls of light in here? No, there's a lot of, uh, tombstones. <laughs> yeah, I was farming for a long time yesterday. I, I was, I'm making that episode for, like, four and a bit hours. Like, that's the actual recording time. It's kind of crazy, right? Like, it's kind of mad. Okay, right, another soul light, and we are Gucci, we are good to go. I don't know if I need to get anything else while I'm down here, so I guess I'm gonna, uh, I guess I'm just gonna leave. Give me that rod of discord. Give me the rod of discord, let's see. Yeah, come up here. Right, this'll be it. Pray to Aaron Jesus, come on. I'm praying, are you? Okay. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Never mind, right. The mechanical eye is secured. Package secured. Right, we really are off to the uh, to the jungle now to go and look for stuff. This is going to be a bit of a pain. I hate doing this in every series I have to do it. So, we have a Spelunk Potion here. Do we have any more? All I'm thinking is we need Spelunk Potions eventually to, to start looking for the... Um, to start looking for the thingy medoodle, you know, the uh, plantera bulb. Okay, we don't. Right. Huh. Let's see. Have we got a demolitionist in the world? 
We don't have a demolitionist. He's dead. He's a goner. Because what I was going to do is I was going to like blow parts of the jungle up just to make it like a little bit easier. But I don't know. I guess I'm not going to have to do that. Hmm. Oh, man. I tell you what. Every time I have to do this, I hate it. <laughs> so, like, I'm one of these people, when I do Plantera, personally, I mean, there may be, like, other ways around it. I don't know how other people do it. I don't think I really watch other people fight Plantera very often. But, that being said, um, I just hate that I'm one of these people that need, like, a really large arena. I remember I used to think Plantera was the hardest boss at one point. Kind of crazy to think about because now I would rank uh, Expert Mode Skeletron. I don't know. I mean, like, in terms of my difficulty scale. I don't know. Moon Lord's very hard, I, I find. Or it can be very hard. It can be a bit of a joke. I feel like in modded series, the Moon Lord is, is such a pushover. You know, because by the time you've reached the Moon Lord, in a lot of mods, you're OP, right? But in Vanilla Terraria, I do think it's a little bit more difficult. I mean, I'm, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like my perspective's kind of changed on the Moon Lord recently. Because I've kind of found that just having a nice, long bridge and jumping at the right times really seems to help. And I think when I used to do Moon Lord, I didn't really, like, know the timing as well as I should have done. But now it kind of feels like instinct because I fought him so many times. But, I don't know, Skeletron, although I can do it, I do struggle. Every time, I struggle. Okay, we're coming up to uh, to night time, which is great. It's pretty cool, because we're going to get that last little fight done. And then, I, what I'll do is, we'll do Plantera tomorrow, and this is going to be good, because if you guys have any last-minute tips for me, that'll be, like, a really good time to add them in, because you guys will write about the Daedalus bow, right? That's, uh, that's really got me through so far, so I appreciate that. Oh, man, I can't wait until we come back here in a little bit, and we're going to be able to uh, to mine away at this chlorophyte. This is one thing. When you're making a Plantera arena and it's just chlorophyte in the middle, ah, oh, kills me. <laughs> but this is going to be a good area, I think. What I'll do is, when I get my demolitionist back in, which should be like, I don't know, tomorrow or... I don't know, have I got enough rooms for it? Anyway, but when I get him back in, I'll start, like, blowing it up with bombs, because that's what I usually do. But I guess it's always good to have a base. I've been bringing this uh, repeater, by the way, because the holy arrows won't pierce through, because they kind of, you know, spawn above, don't they? So what I've been doing is bringing the repeater, so then if I actually need to kill anything in close combat, I've got it. Like that. God, I feel so powerful. I feel so... Compared to, uh, compared to yesterday, when I was, like, getting whooped by every enemy, I feel good. Right, okay. Well, let's go back. Thank you for joining... Oh, God. <laughs> Thank you for joining me for a little bit of mining, my dudes. Um, yeah, we're good to go. I've got some uh, some potions. I'm trying to think. What do you need for archery? I haven't made an archery potion in a little while. If I had to make a, gla a, a, glass, a guess, I would say it's day bloom and lenses. Am I correct? Let's go up here. Is that it? Way yeah it is right okay oh and it didn't use the day bloom amazing amazing right let's get a little heal hello nurse thank you very much right <laughs> don't die this time telling a story about a lady and giving out bad advice it is bad advice to get in somebody else's car right <laughs> just putting it out there I survived miraculously no this woman was so was so nice but don't get into people's cars. Especially if you if they're not around as well, because that's uh that's robbery. What do they call that? Oh yeah, Grand Theft Auto. That's what that crime's called. Oh man. <laughs> okay. I tell you what. Do you know that there was a little meme going around recently? It was like, how old were you before you realised blah 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 blah? Like the most common one in Britain was, how old were you before you realised a tin of celebration chocolates has each letter a different font because it matches the chocolates inside? Really interesting stuff. But I do think one of the ones, like, growing up is, what age did you realize that Grand Theft Auto actually meant robbing a car? Like, I don't know. I was definitely a, uh, a Grand Theft Auto kind of kid. You know, I was one of these kids that managed to secure a copy, play it on my PlayStation 2, thinking I was the cool kid in town. You know what I mean? <laughs> Probably shouldn't have played it. But it was a great game. I guess it was, I guess it was a little bit better back then because it wasn't as realistic. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think it messed me up too much. I do think a little bit of uh, if game age stuff is overrated. Like, I don't know. Come on. You must be so close. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> it must be so close. Please. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh, no. Come on. 
Oh, 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 there's one more night wasted. No. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> right. Well, that's going to be it for today's episode. Thank you for uh, for bearing through that. Yeah, in tomorrow's episode, we will uh, finish that off. And then what we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll do Plantera. But yeah, if you have any last minute tips, get them in. Why not? So yeah, that's going to do it for today's episode. Um, anyway, see you later, guys. Peace.